Hey YouTube, just wanted to make a quick video, um, more informative video about a new saw I just bought. This is uh, the DeWalt DWS 779. There it is. Um, I picked up just today, um, Friday after Thanksgiving 2020. Um, I picked this up at Lowe's, did a lot of research on it, it was on sale for $3.99, came with a uh, free stand, which uh, stand retails for like $199, so I thought it was a really good deal, um, but I did a lot of research leading up to buying the saw, um, and uh, when I unboxed it, I realized that there was some features missing from um, this model. Um, that the same model had, you know, as early as like six months ago. Um, there was another model, DWS 780, um, their newest model. Been out for a couple years, I think. Um, but up until, you know, I don't know how many months ago. Um, I think only like six months because I've seen some videos um, that had the features that are missing on this saw. Uh, it was early as six months ago, but. Um, the only difference between this DWS 779 and the 780, the only thing difference was the 780 had a shadow light, um, cutting guide, um, and the 779 didn't have it. And, uh, guys were buying kits for like $70 and upgrading these saws to make them um, like a 780 and uh, you know because the price difference on these could be as much as $300 and for like 70 bucks they're buying kits and installing these lights on these um, but anyway um, there's some features um, and I've watched a lot of videos there's a lot of features on this I won't say new saw because it's the same model number um, but they changed um, some of the features they took away a lot of features that the saw used to have that the 780 still has and um, and some of them might not mean anything to you but it's just like I said it's informative so when you go to unbox this and um, you're like wow I watched a lot of videos and it had this feature and that feature and it doesn't anymore you'll know why um, one of the features they used to have a slide lock and it was just a lever that came over there used to be a bolt here it used to be um, a cast piece right here and it held it a lever and it flipped over and you could lock the slide out <clears throat> mind you there's still a um, still a thumb screw right there to lock it down but um, this one was a little more positive it was good for storage or just to lock it out for rock solid you know down cuts and that's missing um, Sorry about my shaky video. And then it used to have, and it's still milled out here, it's just missing the parts. And then it had um, two positive stops for bevel cuts for like crown molding. They could flip out of the way on each side. Those are now gone. And uh, the only other thing that I think is missing um, between the two models is, or I should say the same model, um, six months ago, um, this lever here used to be steel. This is what you unscrew to um, swing your bevel left or right. You unscrew that, and uh, it's now plastic where it used to be metal. Um, so I just want people to be aware that if you're watching videos and, you know, those are features that you want in the saw, you're not going to get them. You're going to have to pony up and buy the uh, DWS 780. Um, for me, it didn't really make a difference. This was such a good deal that I don't care about those features. I might change my mind down the road, but I don't think I'll ever use them. Um, one other thing, too, is that I believe from what i seen in videos, um, this saw used to come with a 60 um, tooth blade now it comes with a 32 tooth blade so they went cheap on that too um, the DWS 780 does come with a 60 tooth blade 
Um, yeah. All in all, it's a great saw. I've only made a few cuts on it, but like I said, it's got some missing features. DeWalt's just getting cheap. And uh, any questions or comments, have at it. I want to give a shout out to my son, Lucas Butler, because he'll make fun of this video. Hey, Luke. All right, have a good day.